in this video, I want to go ahead and I want to start and really just kind of replace this idle animation here. Because for first person, as you can kind of assume, you can see when I aim and unaim, you can't exactly see the firearm. It's, it's really quite low. So really, I just kind of want to resolve that. So if we look through the animations provided, we should have, so here's the outer rifle hip. That's what was being used previously. We have, let's see, we should have a idle, it's called idle rifle iron sights. Okay, yeah, so it'll be uh, this guy here. So the, well, aiming one. So what I wanna do is I wanna take IK handgun and same thing kind of like before, I wanna go through and I wanna position it. So let's go ahead and just get that roughly in the hand. That doesn't look far off. You just gotta adjust the rotation. I want it to be vertical, or at least fairly straight, not vertical, uh, fairly straight. Under the top perspective, and we want this to be pointing more along the lines of that. And then lastly, the any side view. So I guess side is gonna be front. So we're still pointing down a little bit, going the wrong direction. And that's pretty close to straight. So back in perspective with IK handgun selected, we're going to go ahead and key. And then we're going to save first off, and then we're going to remove the remainder of the frames. So now we have just a single frame idle. And we're going to do the same thing as before. We're going to create an animation off the current pose. And for the time being, I'm just going to throw mine in the third person template. Because I'm going to replace the existing animation, which is this guy, with it. So, go to the Anim Starter Pack. Is that where I put it? Oh, I put it in UE4 Mannequin, that's why. Alright, where'd it go? There it is. So, UE4 Mannequin. Bad spot to put it. But, I want that to be where I replace it, so I'm going to delete it. And we're going to replace it with the... Of course, that's what's going to be that shows up. There we go. We're going to replace it with the animation we just made. So we're going to hit replace reference, press OK, go ahead and save. And there it swapped it out. Now we can go ahead and rename, which of course it says it already exists. So I'm guessing it's a redirector issue. So we're going to fix up redirectors and then we can rename it. There we go. Okay, so now our idle is like that. So we are good to go. Main reason I want to do that is so we can actually set up firearm collision and, you know, see the firearm. Because before we kind of couldn't anyways, or at all. So, anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this video. And in the next one, I want to start up and set up the firearm collision. So, I will see you then.